has challenged any engineer to tell us how much oil we produce a day. When that came out in the new revival report, you know that the wall of the villa almost collapsed. How can you touch that area? Because the committee was recommending that there are gadgets now to tell us how much oil you produce a day. He said, no. We must not get there in the interest of imperialism. Now, Ghana had an election on December 7th this year. I mean, last year. And it was an election based on issue. The principal one, and I was ashamed as a Nigerian, was that Ghanaian leaders were saying, we are not going to use our oil money like Nigeria. We are going to use our newly found oil wealth in the interest of the entire Nigerian masses. We want to take Ghana back to the days of Nkrumah in the interest of the Ghanaian masses. We want to take Ghana back to the days of Nkrumah when education was free for all the citizens of Ghana. Now, nation building in Nigeria has run into serious crisis. But shamefully, the leaders that we talk about all the time in the north, Amadou Bello, in the west, Awolowo, in the east, Azikwe, we all forget that each of these leaders left power over 50 years ago. But we refer to them with nostalgic feeling because of the betrayal of generations of Nigerians that have ruled our country since 1959 or thereabout. Now, and when a country gets to that level, we're in trouble. Very recently, the Arewa Consultative Forum joined the campaign that we should give the Chinese treatment of death penalty to corrupt leaders. Others have said the need to de-emphasize money in politics. But let me say this. There is no country in the world that has eradicated corruption. Just like Ibori, who is in jail in the United Kingdom. Obama's governor, the former governor of Illinois, is in jail for selling Obama's seat. So Nigeria should not be too apologetic when they are talking about corruption. What should be worried about? It's what Dr. Uh, Sule just mentioned. The culture of impunity. It's not corruption, it's impunity. It's not attitude. As the president said, it's not attitude. It's impunity. The fact that people can murder other citizens and get away with it is the cross of our problem. All of us who travel abroad, once you land in the Heathrow Airport, you are just yourself as a Nigerian. But when you get to Lagos, you're a big man. That was why we're all flabbergasted to land this money. That our chairman came, a successful African leader, with two bars. Sir, that is no longer possible here. <laughs> and, I, and as I was just as I was just discussing with the chairman of the ANPP, the respected Dr. Olu, I think perhaps only one head of state, former head of state, <laughs> General Buhari, who does not travel in private jets. Yet. I say yet. But to be honest with you, Dr. Kwame Nkuma dwelt in extenso on nation building in Africa. And people like Nkuma have to be removed. 